Good evening, Wrightsville. Donna Pinkney here with your Thursday evening devotion. Once again, on the Thursdays in September, we are talking about small groups, um, the importance of small groups, and offering you um, an introduction to some of our small group leaders. So tonight, I introduce you to Ashley Lee. Ashley leads our Mother's Bible Study, which is a um, Bible study designed for moms of all ages and um, is a study and also a support and fellowship group. So anyway, I won't tell you more about it. I'll allow Ashley to do that. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, my friend, Ashley Lee. Thank you, Donna, and hello, Wrightsville United Methodist Church. My name is Ashley Lee. I am married to my wonderful, gracious, and very patient husband, Victor. We are blessed with four children, Avery, Abby, Grayson, and Ellie, who are either active in or once old enough will be active in the Wrightsville United Methodist Children's Programs. As Donna mentioned, I have been blessed with the opportunity to facilitate the Mother's Bible Study at the church over the last few years. I am grateful for the incredible women that have walked beside me in this group. New moms, experienced moms, stay-at-home moms, working moms, volunteer champion moms. The common denominator in our group is the role we play as God-loving mothers striving to raise Christ-centered children. We have had the opportunity to participate together in video studies, parenting studies, motivational studies. We even laughed our way through a Bad Girls of the Bible video study with Liz Curtis Higgs. Pre-COVID, we met once weekly on Wednesday mornings from 9.30 to 11 during the traditional academic school year. A nursery was provided nearby for young children by the marvelous Kathleen and crew to give us the blessing of quiet time among friends. Our meetings consisted of fellowship, prayer time, and a Bible study or book discussion. We have also participated in several service projects supporting church initiatives. With the current COVID restrictions and challenges placed, on parents that we are facing with children on different schedules, Mother's Bible Study will begin a little differently this year, at least for now. Instead of a weekly morning Bible study, we will begin the year with monthly meetings. Our plan is to meet on the fourth Wednesday of each month via Zoom. Hopefully, fingers crossed, later in person, possibly outdoors. Our start time will be 8 p.m. for a heartbeat check. This will include fellowship, prayer time, and a devotion. Wait, but back a minute. Mothers have time for Bible study? I've said that too. Bible study can seem like such a daunting title, especially when we as mothers are challenged with managing, organizing, supporting, educating, and nurturing little people. I like to define our group as a prayer, support, informal therapy, rally, and Bible-loving group. 2020 has been full of unfamiliar and uncharted territory. We have changed our routines, limited our outings, but it has not taken away our faith. We have used God's gifts to find new ways to come together to continue worship, fellowship, sing praise, and share our faith. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. So as I mentioned, Mother's Bible Study will begin this year with monthly harpy checks instead of weekly meetings. Tell me more about these harpy checks, you ask? I'd be happy to. A few years ago, in a discussion focused around the challenges we face as mothers, a friend spoke up regarding the decision to have harpy checks with her children. She gave us an example. Through all the craziness, all the busyness, all the Legos on the floor, all the dirty dishes in the sink, all the dirty laundry piles, and multiple lunches to be made for the next day, she had begun laying her head on her child's chest to hear their heartbeat. The mom proceeded to tell the child she could hear a happy heartbeat. She then asked the child to explain why the heartbeat that day would be happy. Some days the mom could sense a child was stressed, and then she would use the heartbeat check as a simple way to transition to discussing more challenging topics. In turn, the heartbeat check also became a constant reminder of the life God had blessed her with to love, nurture, and share the word of God. A simple heartbeat check with so much more meaning. 
It is a focused moment where distractions are pushed aside to focus on the glorious life in front of us, the glorious plan God has for us. Psalms 33 verse 21. For our heart rejoices in him because we trust in his holy name. 2020 has been a challenge. It has challenged me, my family, my church family, my children, my patients, and it's challenged the familiar. But through the strength God has given us, we can face anything. Motherhood is draining, exhausting, isolating, even in a crowded room or when you're never alone. But it is also beautiful, rewarding, exciting, and such a blessing. 2020 may be throwing the punches, but I will not let it control my reactions. And with God's strength, I can prevail. Moms need heartbeat checks too. Come, join us for Mother's Bible Study Heartbeat Check. Beginning monthly is a great way to take the first step. Psalms 138 verse 3 says, When I called, you answered me. You greatly emboldened me. I invite you to join us beginning next week, Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020 at 8 p.m. via Zoom. And feel free to invite new friends. Bye.